11 a.m. and right now an RTT driver ticketed after a woman is hit by a car after stepping off the bus. We're live at the scene. And some breaking news, a frantic search for 10 people at the Jersey Shore. They're all missing after this deadly motel fire. And developing right now, more searching but still nothing. Planes and ships scouring the Indian Ocean for any sign of that missing Malaysian Airlines plane two weeks after it disappeared. And some big weather changes coming for the entire area. Temperatures are on their way down already. There's rain and snow in the forecast just in time for the weekend. More on that coming up. Developing this morning, a woman steps off a bus, then gets hit by a car, and now the RTD driver's been ticketed. Air Tracker 7 over the scene at Sheridan Alameda around 6.30 this morning. That is the bus there in the middle of all the traffic. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez live from the scene. And Tyler, you spoke with the driver who uh, ran into the woman. I did, Mitch. She told me in Spanish she certainly didn't expect somebody in the road. This is where she was trying to turn the turn lane to take Alameda to the east, but the bus had stopped in the third lane, right where I'm standing, letting passengers off so they could then eventually try to take a bus the other direction, west on Alameda. But here's the thing. Just a little bit up the road is a live look now from a bus stop. It's one of two in this area. This one to the north. It's not even 150 yards away. You might be able to see me moving my arm. There's a Burger King here. This is where those very same passengers could have stepped off the bus well off of the road. The aftermath early morning at Alameda and Sheridan is filled with emotion. Witnesses tell us this man also got off the RTD bus to see his girlfriend hit by a minivan. The driver had a two-year-old girl in the van. She was not hurt. In Spanish, the driver tells us what she saw. And based on what they can see, police say the van driver wasn't the problem here. And the van has come to a stop within 30 feet. So uh, just the laws of physics tells us that to bring a van. I was driving. All of a sudden, she got off the bus and I hit her. I never saw her. I don't know what's going to happen. But in the first place, she shouldn't have crossed there because it's on a pedestrian zone. And based on what they can see, police say the van driver wasn't the problem here. And the van has come to a stop within 30 feet. So uh, just the laws of physics tells us that to bring a vehicle to a stop uh, in uh, 30 feet is about 25 miles an hour. The bus driver, though, a contractor with first transit out of Commerce City, has been cited for letting the pedestrians off mid-block and for careless driving, resulting in injury. Drivers responsible for the safety of their passengers getting on and off the bus as well as while they're riding the bus. Now, this road reopened about 9.30. It was closed for three hours, creating a lot of traffic on Sheridan. RTD tells me they're going to rely on police findings, but they believe this bus driver may have violated their own policy, letting folks off mid-block. It's believed that the woman hit may have a broken leg. Live this morning in Denver, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Thank you, Tyler.